Hey guys, it's Nick with What I'm Watching, and today I'm here to talk to you about the latest Necrostorm release, Infidus. Um, it just came out in a collector's edition, and this is the fifth release from Necrostorm. And uh, I gotta say, after the disappointment of Judy, this kind of uh, brought him back up and put him back in the good graces with me. Uh, as always, uh, written and directed by uh, Julio DeSante. If I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, the Necrostorm company. Uh, I think they do a lot of good stuff, and uh, I like how they're bringing back the old 80s vibe of the sci-fi horror kind of cult films. But uh, I gotta say, um, Infidus was entertaining, but it had its issues. And basically, it, there's two storylines to it. One is about a man whose wife was a victim of a... Uh, a snuff filmmaker, so he's out to find the guy who runs the snuff film ring, infiltrate him, and get his revenge. And the other is about uh, this dude who's a criminal, Baraba, who got screwed over by this guy and uh, set up basically and left for, for the police. So he goes to prison, but he gets out of prison and he starts hunting down all the people that are making the snuff films and killing them. Now, he gets the guy that fucked him over and sent him to jail, but the, the, the rest of the plot is kind of weak. It's like, he promised his dad, which we don't even see this we pro on, in the film, he promises his dad that he'll get his younger brother out of the street game and, you know, they'll leave that lifestyle behind. Well, his brother becomes like this big rich dude running a snuff film ring and he's got all these people working for him, so his brother's mad. So instead of getting his brother out of the lifestyle, he just says he's going to kill his brother and all his friends. I mean, that's the part of the movie that really didn't make much sense. You know, this guy's going on this rampage, killing all these people, but a lot of these people know him, have his phone number, or like his buddies, people that didn't even fuck him over. You know, so it's like, I find it hard to believe that this hardened criminal who participated in these movies now goes to prison and decides to get out that he's super angry about all this and he's going to start killing his friends and I don't know, the, the story was very weak. Uh, the special effects, there was some good gore in it but it's still not on par with the earlier stuff that Necro Storm was putting out and it just seems like they've really slowed their role. Um, you know, I'm not complaining, I guess I am complaining but it's just, um, it's a good film but it's still a little amateur hour. Um, I think uh, the more that they do, the better they'll get. Uh, yeah. But uh, this release was just a little bit disappointing. And the movie's in black and white, so you don't really get to appreciate the gore. And uh, they used uh, a lot of little cheap effects here and there, more so. And it wasn't as, like I said, it just wasn't on par with the earlier stuff, like uh, Tater City and Hotel Inferno. That gore right there was top notch, in my opinion. But um, anyway, the movie was decent overall. It had some good gore in it, but, uh, you know, uh, overall, it's just uh, the story was really weak. And that's uh, that's what really got me. It's like he's going and doing all this stuff and going after all this revenge, but he's going for revenge for, for no reason, really. Like, the one person that fucked him over, he killed, and not even in grand fashion. So... I don't know. I mean, it's just the story was a little it was a little weak, and uh, the effects uh, left me wanting more. But uh, overall, it was an interesting movie. Anything about snuff films gets my attention. So uh, you know, this movie you know follows the group of snuff filmmakers and this guy slowly, methodically taking them all out. Him and his ugly girlfriend. Uh, they could have picked a, a better looking chick to play his accomplice. They, instead they pick somebody that looks like somebody's ugly ass grandma go around with them and it's just, I don't know. And the musical score, that little piano ding ding, you know, that they, they just kept milking the fuck out of that. And so the score could have used a little bit of work. Uh, you know, I try not to, you know, drag anybody through the mud and that's not my intention here. I am a fan of Necrostorm. It just seems like uh, with their later releases, they don't try as hard, and maybe they're comfortable putting out subpar movies. But um, I don't know. It is a good. It is a good movie. It is entertaining, but um, it just it could have been more. I don't think I was expecting a lot more. I've watched it twice, and maybe I'll go watch it again. 
but on the back here it says shot with real ex-criminals and deprived people from the streets and uh, that's bullshit because the guy the main guy in it is the uh, zombie chainsaw zombie from uh, Hotel Inferno that the uh, hitman comes in contact with so it's the same dude so I don't know I guess that that was their marketing technique <laughs> scared myself um, but uh, if you haven't seen it, give it a watch. Uh, it's definitely better than Judy.